Hi friends, today we're going to talk about the Summer Scare Readathon. <music> Guys, I have been talking about hosting a readathon that was spooky in summer for a while, uh, probably for like a couple of years, and I finally decided to just go through with it. I don't have the greatest prompts ever but we're just gonna roll with it and uh, maybe you guys can give me some suggestions for prompts in the future. Maybe. I don't know. So my thing is I always try to I hold off all of my spooky books and I'm like I'll read it in in October like I'll just I'll read it in October and then October comes around and I read like three or four books and I'm like girl you got like 80 spooky books. Like, you read four. <laughs> so I wanted to do something at a different time of year when I don't typically read spooky books. And, you know, Summer Scare Readathon, it, it has a nice uttering to it. So that's what we're doing, Summer Scare Readathon. It is going to run from August 1st, which is a week from today, through August 9th. So it's a full nine days, two full weekends. And there are five prompts and you can follow as many or as few of them as you would like. Honestly, I would just love for you guys to read one spooky book with me in the week. That would be great. I will be posting a TBR video next week um, on Monday. But for today, we're going to go over the prompts and um, like I said, double up, triple up, read one book for all five prompts, don't follow any of the prompts at all, just read something scary. Um, and what's scary to you may be scary to someone different. If you read scary books all year long and you don't really read a lot of romance, maybe romance is scary for you. Read a romance book. It's just a read something that's scary to you. Or spooky. Or spoopy. You know, those things. So the first prompt is to read a book with the color purple on the cover. Purple is my favorite color, and purple is like a good spooky color, so I'm rolling with it. Purple on the cover. The second prompt is to read a diverse book. Doesn't matter if it's a character or a setting or something that is diverse to you. Diverse book. Three is to read a book with a ghost on the cover. Now, it could be like a specter, a chilling hand, a a kid who, you know, cut eye holes out of their mom's sheet for a Halloween costume, uh, anything ghosty. It can even be a person on the cover that you know in the book is going to be a ghost. Really anything. Ghost dog, ghost tree, ghost whatever. A ghost. It could be a candle in the shape of a ghost. Anything you want ghost on the cover. Four is a spooky word in the title. So ghost or scare or uh, I don't know. Are you afraid of daffodils? I don't know. If it's a scary word to you, it counts. Anything scary, scary words in the title. And five is to read a book under 200 pages. Because again, I just want everybody to read a spooky book with me. And if you want to read a short kids book that's got a ghost on the cover and is purple and the main character is diverse to you and the title is the spooky dog and it's a hundred pages then great you just hit all five in one book. I just want you guys to read spooky books with me. I want to I want to normalize spooky books year-round. Year-round spooky books normalizing for myself because I think it's pretty normal but I try to hold everything off until like the spooky months but then I never get around to the books that I want to read so hopefully you will come and read these with me again it's gonna be August 1st through the 9th two full weekends and a great way for those of you who are author tubers to get a break after all of the writing that you did in July take a reading break put your novel aside read some with me. I might do a live read-in, um, you know, because we do live write-ins, so why not a live read-in? Sounds great. Um, I, I, I'm not sure yet, but we're going to do some things, and I hope that you will join me. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book-related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe, and until then, I will see you guys next time. 
Bye.